okay, let's go to School Bus Demolition Derby. We're waiting for the green flag. They're lined up all around the speedway. We're going to get the green flag, and then they go. What are we going to look for? Well, what we're going to look for basically is general carnage of all shapes, forms, and fashions. These guys have made it through the figure eight race, and now it's basically just get out there, tear them up, and put on a good show for the fans. So not a lot of strategy other than try to keep your front end protected. You want your radiator, your cooling system, and be able to steer. If you try and protect those, you don't care about the back half of the bus. Yeah, basically anything goes in this. Uh, you want to use the rear of your bus as much, you can, as much as you can to see if you can't bang the front end off of the other buses. Or just have some fun and bang the rear ends of those machines together. Chad Smith, the Liberty Tax Service machine, just backed into somebody, shocked everyone, and now he's on the prowl. Uh, yeah, that he missed. A little scrapage action. Here is uh, Carrico, and he's got a hold of Butch there in the rear end. Lets him back away. Now here comes Butch again, trying to take the front end off on board now <laughs> with Chad Smith. Oh, my goodness. He smacked Butch. Another good one. We got pieces falling off the buses right and ouch, left. Left, right, back, front. These guys are just trying to ruin these buses all for the name of sport. There's Chad Smith in the uh, Liberty Tax Service bus. Watch him backing up. Got the arm on the seat. Wham! Another one on the Lang Chevrolet sponsored bus. Ooh, crunch. Took out that corner, and now we're up in the air. We've got to back off, and the tires are going to hit the ground. We've still got a lot of tires up. I'm surprised with all the carnage and all the metal out there. Boom! That was a hard one. we got to take another look at that one. That oh, that's not the one. only one. Let's take it on the side. Here we go. Oh! Oh, and the glass is coming out of the back of the bus, spilling onto the seats. That was a tough blow. Our camera's going to get hurt doing that. <laughs> oh, the guy's just out here having a big old time. Oh, there's the front end smash. That would be Bill Sutherland smashing into that bus. He's the winner in the figure eight race, and he's still looking good out there despite, you know, what he's doing in the demolition derby the bus still looks good and we're still seeing some pieces and everybody's knocking him off i think our liberty tax service machine is well it's seen better days it's on the downhill side oh yeah lots of buses losing front ends beginning to already look at the rear end of that green bus right there the lang chevy sponsored bus has got rear end problems rick and they're still backing around trying to save the front end now we're going to get the key mobility machine that's sitting there and sitting there and now finally moving shredded right front tire still got one red light working i think he's had damage everywhere else and we're getting a little bit of smoke and now let's oh oh they double team the dui xenia dui machine the trolley stopper there throwing the fist he didn't like that one i don't think you know i don't think it was that bad you get double team from each side you don't get knocked around everything kind of gets well narrowed a little bit but it's still okay yeah matt johnson able to still keep moving that's the name of the game as be the last one running there's Mike Martin now, the rear end of his bus looking scraggly. There's Sutherland coming in, and wham! The front end again, motor area. Mike Martin backing up, and part of it, he was knocked backwards. Now he's going to see if he can find a forward gear at all. He gets hit from the side. Mike Martin sitting there thinking, I'm pretty much a sitting duck right now. Johnson is ruthless. You see him sitting in there with a the sleeveless shirt, jamming gears, looking around, finding another victim for that orange machine. Somebody chasing Sutherland around. That's Butch. Butch ain't going to make it that time, but they're chasing each other. Guy's in the middle now. Mike Martin run into again with the front end. I think the yeah, front of that machine's about done. Carrico taking the front end from uh, from uh, Butch there. And, uh, you know, Butch, no brakes. He's going to hit you hard. Carrico trying to wave off Matt Johnson saying, I think I'm dead in the water right here. A uh, little bit late with that waiver. It just got missed. Martin still moving. Johnson still moving. Looks like, there we go, Sutherland still moving. These guys still got power underneath them. They're going to keep going. Look at that free hood adjustments for Sutherland. And he's been doing that all night. He's now we're running around up. trying to see who's going to hit, who's going to miss. Three of them still working on it. Here comes Sutherland again, trying to get the front end area. Mike Martin's bus is pushing him backwards. Making a little bit more contact there. Some more pieces falling off. Coach's grill, Matt Johnson. Here's Carrico again. Carrico backing up. Up, oh, taking the front clip off of Martin's machine. 
Now back over here, Johnson and Sutherland in a pushing war. That's got to do some uh, damage to the transmission, doesn't it, Rick? Oh, that's it. They're trying to trying to push each other back and forth, and it looks like Sutherland's the winner. But we'll see if it hurt any of the powertrain in the machines. Johnson's still under power, but it looks like Mike Martin may be dead in the water there, stalled on the speedway. We see the fluid leaking out, and the general carnage. You can't even tell. That's a diesel engine there. It's shoved back. The radiator's pretty well used up. Johnson backing after somebody. Who's he going to find? Uh, he's looking for anybody he can hit. We got Sutherland back there now pushing Carrico around. Now he hits Carrico in the right rear. Moving him toward the stands. You can hear the fans go crazy. Uh-oh, Carrico, you see steam coming out of the front, and here go Johnson and Sutherland. We may just be down to three buses. The steam and the smoke coming out of Carrico's diesel engine as he goes down towards turn four. I don't know if he's looking to back up really quickly or if he's trying to get out of the way. Here comes Sutherland. A near miss. Sutherland aimed around. Now he's got the front end of Carrico's machine in his sights, and it's a hit to the right front. Carrico has bounced around pretty well inside there. More carnage, Rick. More carnage going on. Bill Sutherland, Matt Johnson ramming each other once. Are they going to get it twice? They're circling oh, around. Oh, there we go. Oh, the hits just keep on coming. Sutherland now has got a lot of fluid leaking out the front end of his machine, but he's still rolling. Nina Johnson again ramming each other. And I wonder about Sutherland. The front end of that machine has looked fairly pristine, but it's leaking fluid. I don't know what happened. Well, I'll tell you what. He's not going to last a whole lot longer. None of these three last three guys. Look, Butch Russell's moving again there in the background. We thought he was out of it. And Sutherland goes ahead and nails Carrico once again. Johnson in the middle, and we're wondering, as we sit there, Butch Russell, I wonder if he was sandbagging because he was down for a while, then all of a sudden shows back up again. And... Carrico, all kinds of smoke out of that machine. Still under power, though, as he takes it, tries to get out of the way of Butch Russell. Butch just in reverse, just trying his best to circle around and smack him another good time. <laughs> it's an absolute mess. He's got pieces of other buses there. He's got most of his own bus. It's just a mess in the front end for Carrico, and he's after somebody. <laughs> He's after Butch. Whoa. Narrowly misses the front end of Butch Russell. And there's Johnson again. So four of them remaining, and there is Butch backing up. And, and here comes Johnson going to try and catch him and spin him. He spins Russell around. Staying in reverse, the way to go. Use the rear end of your bus. Try to protect the front. Who's done a great job of that? Well, Bill Sutherland still has the front end of his bus working well, although it is leaking some fluid. He and Johnson both have good-looking front ends compared to the other two machines. All right, Carrico's is an absolute mess, and here comes Johnson. He's going to go ahead and put it in reverse and going to go find somebody, and Russell and Sutherland and all of them. A threesome right there in the middle of the front straightaway. Big three-way pileup on the front stretch for the fans. They're loving it. Most of them on their feet. Four buses left in it. You wonder how much longer can it go on. Somebody's got to die pretty soon. Carrico's machine getting hit again by Sutherland. And they don't sound very healthy. Carrico, you see all the smoke coming out of that machine, and Russell's still moving, and Carrico, he's got a fire. Uh, they're going to stop this for just a moment. That's that's not going to be safe for him to keep going with that kind of uh, fire under the hood, so they're going to put a pause on this one. And back at it we go. Got the fire put out. And here's Johnson trying to figure out what's going on. He's going to hit Sutherland, and Sutherland is not moving. We could have a winner. Johnson still moving around. Carrico done with the fire. Russell there. Sutherland, they're all done. It looks like only one remains standing. Johnson, the only one moving right now. He's kind of taking a little victory lap, it looks like. Waiting, saying, hey, guys, anybody else moving? I'm still moving. Looks like I might have just won myself this thing.